I'm Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting and today I'm going to show you how to move system updates from one update set to another. As a ServiceNow system administrator or developer, making changes within the default global update set and not the update set you're actually supposed to be working in is a common mistake you can make. The good news is, if you've made changes within the default global update set and you wish to move them to the correct update set, you can easily do this with a few clicks. In today's demo, I'm going to make some changes to the system and then show you how to move those changes to another update set. Before we get started, click on the System Settings gear icon and in the Developer tab, enable the Show Application Picker in Header and Show Update Set Picker in Header toggles. Enabling these two options displays the update set and application you're working in. This is super helpful as a developer as this enables you to see the update set you're working in. As you can see, we're currently working in the default global update set. Let's make a change to the system so we can create some updates. For demo purposes, I'm going to head to the incident form and add a new string field called demo field. Now that I've created this new field, let's head over to the Local Update Sets module located under the System Update Sets application. Before we search for the updates made, let's create an update set to move the recently made updates into. Click on the New button. In the Name field, let's call the update set New Field on the Incident Form. Now click on the Submit button to create this update set. As you can see, the newly created update set is available in the list view. The next step is to now move the updates that we made on the incident form from the default global update set to the new update set. Click on the default global update set. Scroll down the form to the customer updates related list. This is where all of the updates are located. Right click on the update set equals default condition and click on the Open New Window option. Now we need to filter and select only the updates that we wish to move. This step is fairly easy because I know that I made the changes so I can filter out all the updates made by other people and then I can look at the updates only made today. Now that I've applied this filter, you can see all of the updates that I applied to the incident form. To move these updates from the default global update set, Simply highlight the cells in the update set column using shift down and change the value to the desired update set. In this example, I'm going to enter new field on the incident form. We've now moved these updates from the default global update set to the correct update set. Now, if we go into the new field on the incident form update set and scroll down to the customer updates related list, we can see all of the updates that we just moved. And that is all for today's tutorial on moving updates between update sets and ServiceNow. Good luck and thanks for watching.